This paper slides presentation is about convergent versus divergent thinking. When you're beginning your research process, you need to think about what you'd like to learn. You might find that you think of a topic, say turtles, but turtles really are a pretty basic topic. There's just so much to learn about these critters, and if you type the word turtles into a search bar of a database or in Google, you'll get way more information than you can handle. In order to be a more efficient and effective researcher, it's important to use focus questions. Focus questions will drive your research and help you seek out the information you need to do well. And for those of you who sometimes feel overwhelmed by research, they will give you that direction you need. After all, we call them focus questions. When we think about focus questions, there are two main types of questions to consider, convergent and divergent. Convergent questions are the kind of questions that get you to that one answer. You find the answer and you're done. Everything brings us to this precise point. If we think about it in terms of a level of thinking, this is a much more basic comprehension level thinking. These close-ended questions often begin with who, what, where, or when. So let's go back to our turtle example. A convergent question about our turtle would be, what do turtles eat? We could quickly look up information and find that they have a plant-heavy diet, but also will consume insects, snails, and fish. We found the answer in about a minute and can check off that question. So if a teacher is asking us to write an entire research paper around a question, convergent questions often give us very little to say. When we got this answer about what a turtle eats, we're done. I can't come up with a two-page paper discussing this. Maybe a paragraph, sure, but not an entire essay. Convergent questions, therefore, are perfect for demonstrating very basic understanding of a topic, even background, but they aren't meaty enough for a middle school research paper. That leads us to questions that will save the day, divergent questions. Divergent questions are the kind of questions that allow us to explore more avenues and consider all of the possibilities. A divergent question might lead to even more questions, and that's a good thing. In terms of levels of thinking, they are much more analytical and evaluative, requiring a bit more brain power. So don't fret if you can't come up with a divergent question right off the bat. Sometimes it actually takes writing a few convergent questions to get to the divergent questions. You'll get there. Divergent questions, or open-ended questions, begin with phrases such as, how could, what might, or suppose. So let's go back to our turtle again. If we take our convergent question of, what does a turtle eat, and presto changeo, make it divergent, we could ask, what might happen if a turtle was raised as a carnivore rather than an omnivore? Notice I'd have to do a little more research on my convergent question as background to learn what turtles eat first, which then leads me to create a divergent question and seek out even more information. I hope it's clear by now that divergent questions help you think outside the box and beyond a basic topic. In other words, the answers to these questions can't just be found in an encyclopedia article or on a website. It requires you to put together information found in various sources or synthesize in order to formulate your response. Divergent questions give you many possibilities and therefore allow for a much more lively discussion. They are the perfect kind of questions for a research paper as they give you so many opportunities to learn and more importantly, think. Just remember you're doing research and it's important to have strong questions to drive the information you're seeking. Sometimes you'll have that question all figured out before you sit down to actually do the research, but oftentimes you'll find that questions come to you as you work through the materials you find. After all, the more you see, the less you know. Happy researching!